everyone. In this video, we are going to see about what is twirling system. In previous video, I am already explained about, I mean briefly explained about what is three lead system, five lead and then twelve lead system. But in this video, I am elaborately explain what is twelve lead system, how many electrodes are needed to place for this twelve lead system and how many waves we can able to take on by using this twelve lead system and uh, what are all the uh, directions that will be covered in our heart, everything I will be explained, okay. So yeah, let's move to the video. This is the ECG 12 lead system. Actually, in this 12 lead system, we are using 10 electrodes to take uh, 12 ECG waveforms. So, 10 electrodes that will be placed in right arm, left arm, left left and then right left and then chest electrodes. I mean V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6 up to V6. So, we, here we are using 6 limb electrodes and then 6 chest electrodes. In this limb electrode, actually we are using 4 electrodes to take on a 6 waveforms and then we are using 6 e chest electrode to take on a 6 ECG waveforms. So this, this is the calculation, okay. So here this is the N2 and triangle. Now I am just explaining about what is bipolar and then unipolar electrode, I mean limb electrodes, okay. So bipolar, this is the right arm, left arm, left leg. The potential difference that will be measured between the right arm and the left arm, which means negative pole to the positive pole. Okay, so this is lead one and lead two that will be measured from right arm to left leg, positive to negative. This is lead two and lead three. We can able to take the measurement between le left leg and then left arm. This is lead three. Each and every lead waveforms that will be uh, view the particular portion of the heart. For example, in this lead one, by using this lead one, we can able to see the left side of our heart. In this lead two, we can able to see the inferior left of our heart. And then by using this lead three, we can able to see our inferior right side of the heart. Okay, and then this is these are the bipolar electrodes and unipolar electrode is AVR, AVL and then AVF. AVR, AVL, AVF which means that augmented vector right, augmented vector left and augmented vector foot. Sorry, foot. Okay, augmented vector right, actually in this augmented vector right, we take right arm as a positive pole. Okay, and then negative pole that will be taken between these two electrodes. Okay, so this is negative. Through that we can able to take an ECG waveform of ABR. That is augmented vector right. So this augmented vector right waveform that will be show the viewpoint of the upper right side of the heart. Okay, and augmented vector left. So in this uh, augmented vector left, Positive pole is right arm and then other two negative. Okay. So here we are taking the A, B, L. Augmented vector left. So in this augmented vector left waveform that will be shows the upper right, uh, I mean left side of the heart. Okay. And then A, B, F. A, B, F augmented vector foot. So this augmented vector foot, the positive angle is left leg and the negative pole that will be chosen between the two electrode right arm and then left arm. So this augmented vector foot, this waveform clearly shows about our inferior walls of the heart. So these are the um, representations of the waveforms actually. These are the waveforms that will be used to view our heart in a different angle and the different directions. Okay. And then chest electrodes. Chest electrode V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. These six chest electrodes are placed in a different region of our heart. Which means that V1 is placed fourth intracostal space, uh, right sternum. V2 that will be uh, placed in a fourth intracostal space, left sternum. V3 placed between V2 and V4. V4 which will be placed in that mid clavicular line. V5 placed anterior um, axillary line. And V6 that will be placed in the anti, I mean, 
mid axillary line okay so these six chest electrodes are the unipolar electrode these six electrode has a positive pole and the negative pole that will be measured or calculated as an average of the um, these three limb electrodes okay average input that will be comes from the three limb electrodes that is in a negative pole of this chest electrode okay so by using this 12 lead system we can able to take an heart angle so i mean we can able to take our heart in a different angle and then different direction we can able to uh, get an electrical activity of the heart functions okay and then depolarization of the depolarization that will be uh, takes towards the lead that will be produces the positive deflection and then depolarization away from the lead that produces the negative deflections of the heart okay so this is what ecg 12 lead system thank you